Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Amor Love and today I'm joined with my little sister Jamor Love. I'm gonna be blow drying, straightening, and trimming her hair today. So make sure you guys keep on watching to see my tips and tricks for someone who's very tender headed. <laughs> So starting off, I'm going to be applying products and this is her hair in its natural state. I actually let her wash her hair today. I would have done it, but I'll let her do it because she's learning. <laughs> and let's just say sentence of the day is be more thorough, okay? But nonetheless, she's learning. So anyways, I'm applying the Kerastase Nectar Thermique Heat Protectant Moisturizing Cream. And then I'm going in with the Sebastian Trillion Heat Protecting Spray. Then I'm going to follow up with the BioSilk Serum, which is one of my favorites. I love applying it on damp hair and working it through and then blow drying it in. It's honestly the best. You guys have to try it and let me know what you think. But for now, I'm going to separate her hair into two halves straight down the middle. And then from there, I'm going to section out a diagonal back thick chunk of hair because I will be using the Dyson blow dryer today just because it's faster, it's easier, it's smoother, and you know, we just really love it. I did do a video using that blow dryer on my hair. I will link it below if you guys want to check that out. For now, I'm just using my Tangle Teaser brush. This is a brush I got in an RPG show box, actually. <laughs> That's a wig company. So I'm using that to detangle the hair from the ends and working my way up. Then taking my Dyson blow dryer, I'm going to hold the hair out while brushing it in a very slow motion and a downward motion, just so that we smooth the hair out and get it as dry as possible, as fast as possible. So I'm just gonna continue doing these diagonal back thick sections until I'm up all the way to the top on both sides. Using a Dyson really helps to smooth out the hair to not heat damage it because it does regulate the heat temperature which i really love and it cuts your blow drying time in half and if you buy the set it's really not expensive as you think it is because you get a lot of attachments so you basically get a bunch of blow dryers so the price is not as bad when you break it down <laughs> so i basically did about three sections per side doing diagonal backs and detangling the section and then smoothing it with the dyson And then I'm going to just repeat that on the same side, y'all. Nothing special. I'm just doing the same thing, okay? Look at the difference. Wow. Shrinkage is definitely real. Look at that. That is insane. And as you can see now that one side is completely blown out, she definitely needs a trim. So I'm really glad that we are doing this today. look at that that is both sides completely smoothed out and i'm just going over everything with the dyson to make sure that we don't have anything damp because if you do not blow dry everything completely dry then you are going to have some pieces revert back to fluffy and poofy and we don't want that because we don't want to reheat style our hair right after it's initially styled now we're going to move on to flat ironing but this is where i think we're going to be trimming her hair just because you don't want to hold on to breakage. You might as well just cut it all off. She doesn't really do much with her hair and she's also very tender headed, but having this many split ends can really cause a lot more tangles than you need. So trimming this is really going to be helping her. So don't be alarmed. It's not a lot. It's really going to help her in the long run because it'll be easier to detangle. So moving on, I am using my Babyless Pro nano flat iron i think it's the nano flat iron um prima 3000 my bad <laughs> i'm gonna be using this and using the brush chase method and smoothing her hair completely straight as you guys can see there is a lot of steam coming from the flat iron and that is because like i said you have to be thorough when you wash your hair because if you're not you know you're just flat ironing not so good washed hair <laughs> Ah, but anyway, she she knows now. I was I was giving her tips and tricks while I was styling her hair, but my dad was on his way, so I couldn't rewash her hair. So anyway, she knows now. She will do a better job. She's practicing. She's only twelve, you guys. So I'm just gonna basically continue flattering her hair. I'm doing half and half. 
two sections and working in horizontal parts all the way up the head using the brush chase method. I'm really only doing one pass on her hair for the most part, unless it's up by the roots. So I'm going to continue working my way up and then I'm going to repeat the same exact thing on the other side, but I just want you guys to watch and enjoy in case you find it satisfying because <laughs> I am loving this. Oh, by the way, y'all see my nails? There's a nail tutorial, so go look at my videos and go watch the nail tutorial because my nail tech gave y'all all the secrets. We did one on her channel and one on my channel. Make sure you guys go check that out if you're interested and how we got these nails. That is one side all complete. Now I'm gonna continue the same exact thing on the other side, so just watch and enjoy. Also, make sure you stay tuned for the end of this video because we will be opening up the advent calendars that we've been doing for Vlogmas. We didn't really finish out Vlogmas, but I still want you guys to see what was in those. So stay tuned to the end of the video. Do not skip around. Make sure you enjoy the entire video. So now I'm just smoothing her hair out with a comb. Look at those split ends, y'all. We finna cut off basically everything that's see-through. So taking my swivel thumb left-handed shears, these are absolutely amazing. And I'm also taking a cutting comb that is a carbon comb. And I'm basically gonna cut her hair in a U shape just to take off all those dead ends and anything that would be normally harder for her. Anything that would cause tangles is basically coming off. If it's damaged, if it's see-through, for the most part, it's coming off. She doesn't really do her hair, she keeps it up, and she's also very tender-headed, so taking off split ends is definitely a must if you're a tender-headed because split ends only cause more tangles, which is gonna hurt y'all, so just cut it off because it ain't helping you anyway. It's just dragging you down. <laughs> so I'm basically just going all around making sure everything is cut and smooth and even. Now I'm actually gonna take vertical sections and pull her hair up to about a 90 and cutting off anything that's split or jagged or too see-through or just damaged, I'm gonna be cutting all of that off. This is because not all of the hair on her head reaches the bottom part. So we still wanna make sure we're getting everything cut and trimmed. So this is where the vertical sections really come in handy and pulling everything out to a 90 degree angle. Unfortunately, you cannot see me pulling it out to a 90 degree angle. <laughs> I didn't realize I didn't zoom back out, but that is what I'm doing. I'm just cutting off anything that did not initially reach down to that bottom for, you know, the base cut, the base length. <laughs> but this is our hair all done. We're basically twins, <laughs> literally twins. That's freaking crazy. You would think she's my daughter, right? Like this is crazy. My dad got some strong genes, y'all. Like what in the world? What in the world? Okay, we're done. You're free. <laughs> 
you guys i realized we forgot to open the advent calendar so jamora is gonna open the trader joe's 12 days of beauty and i'm gonna open the nyx advent calendar one okay open yours first <laughs> Um, <laughs> number three this one's oh no so is it one? oh four yeah i guess oh, that's weird did i not open one on here wait that's so confusing just two is open three is open wait where's one one was the toasted marshmallow then that was some hand cream did i not open another one Oh no, I did open it. I just didn't edit it yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, I feel like I opened this. If I didn't, y'all, it was a lip oil. You'll see it in another video. But, yeah, day four. <laughs> I'm trying to open it, but my thumb is messed up because I tried to. They are hard to open. I got nails. They should put like a class one. I know. Ooh, what is that? I don't even, I've never even seen that product in Trader Joe's. Read it, what does it say? Cherry Blossom Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cream. Oh, it's hand cream, cherry blossom, moisturizing hand cream. I mean, I like the container. I guess I'll keep it in my car or something. Okay, so that was Trader Joe's. 12 Days of Beauty. And then NYX. Let's see what's in day four. Oh, snap. It's a lipstick. A matte lipstick and an actual lipstick tube. So everything... This gives me... <laughs> this reminds me of um, Avon samples. Um, Y'all remember Avon? Where they used to have all the little... <laughs> that's what this packaging compartment oh reminds me of Avon. <laughs> Wait, let me put it on. I guess I'll try it. I mean that mirror, but it's too big. I'll use this as me. I mean, I got lip gloss on, so you can see the difference. It's cute. It's like in the family of lips I already wear, so I'm pretty sure I would love this, like by itself. But cute. Okay, so that's what we got, y'all. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe and leave a comment. I'm sorry about the voiceover thing. I'll, I'll, I'll explain more later. <laughs> but until then, we'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>